Welcome to PointYC's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. This is going to be a two-part video where we show you the different cell types options that you have available when you use the 3D T-Rex algorithm. As you can see, I have in front of you a very simple unstructured block. I'm going to select that block and go to the T-Rex tab. And in particular, we're going to be paying attention to the options inside the cell types frame. When using these options, the first decision you have to make is whether you want the T-Rex algorithm to combine those anisotropic tetrahedral cells or not. If you want to leave these cells alone, so not combine, you're going to be choosing this option, which is the Tets and Surface Pyramids. Let's go ahead and initialize the block so you can see what happens. If I get a little bit closer, you can see that the T-Rex algorithm created that very nice stack of anisotropic tetrahedral cells that were left uncombined. Going back to the T-Rex tab, what happens if you now decide that you want to combine those anisotropic cells as much as possible into anisotropic prisms and hexahedral cells? So then you're going to be choosing this option right here, which is the TETS, pyramids, prisms, and hexes. When you choose this option, four sub-options become available. And in particular, we're going to be looking at the first one, which is the standard T-Rex algorithm with combination. Going to the Solve tab. Let's reinitialize that block and you can actually see what happens. If I get a little bit closer, now those anisotropic tetrahedral cells have been combined as much as possible into, in this case, anisotropic hexahedral cells shown in blue. Going back to the T-Rex tab, let's look at one more option in this video, and that is the reduced pyramids. If you choose this option, the algorithm is going to do the same thing when it comes to combination, but with the addition of reducing the number of pyramids, which are those yellow cells that you see in there. Going back to the Solve tab and reinitializing, you can see you get the same very nice combination of those anisotropic cells, but the number of pyramids has been reduced. I will show you the next or remaining options in a separate video. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.